A number of people have asked me about the modifications that I've done to my CP2 and a whole another bunch of people have asked for details on my ratting kit and these two subjects are interrelated so I'll deal with them both in this video for you. Now most of the modifications that you're looking at on this gun are the adjustable AR stock, the AR style grip, forward grip, triple picatinny rail, my scope and my night vision. Now these parts, the AR stock, AR grip, triple picatinny rail, all come from a company in Texas called Buck Rail. Take a notice of the front grip here. I made that in the shed. I made a forward grip for it because to me it's invaluable for ratting and for what I do. Because you're shooting offhand most of the time. I'll give you a bit of a review on the Buck Rail stuff. Buck Rail sent me a package and it came with Tri Rail Picatinny. The pistol grip and the adjustable stock and it came with two adjustable stock shafts. One of them has an aluminium insert and a separate spring guide. The other one was all formed in one piece of uh, polymer. The one that was molded in one piece was a very nice interference fit. Problem was I treat my guns like shit and I broke it. So I'm now using the one with the aluminium spigot range. And bear in mind I'm talking about ranges of 30 yards and less. I zero this at 15 yards so I automatically know how to hold under at 20 yards, 25 yards and I know how to hold over at 10 yards and so on. I mean when I get right down to close range or if there's any running around my feet then I use a PP700 single action. Now when it comes to the barrel shroud <laughs> obviously you can get carbon fiber stuff and kind of modify and make your own. So what I just used a piece of pipe lagging and just put camo tape over the top of it just for the hell of it. The thing is, I mean, yeah, all right, it's a little bit protected now, it's padded. But the main thing is that I'm, it makes me more conscious of it so I don't bang the barrel into things. The original silencer on the CP2, absolutely brilliant, superb. I mean, when you shoot this thing, you think, oh, I'm out of gas. It's that quiet. So that's the basic outline there. As I say, without the night vision on it, it's ergonomically perfect. It's just a working tool, this. I don't use it for targets other than to zero the thing. What else do I need to tell you? Calibre. What calibre do you want for ratting? Oh, we won't get into that row. Personally, for this purpose, 177. I need accuracy more than I need anything else. Power and ammo. I chrono this thing, whatever the temperatures are, I know what this thing's putting out. The pellet that puts out the most power into the target at whatever range I'm at, JSB Hades, 10.34 grain. It has proved to be the most devastating at the target. Now, a question I get asked a lot is about CO2 power fluctuations in cold weather. In the summer, this thing's producing between eight and a half and nine foot pound of energy at the muzzle. So at a 20 yard target, it's still hitting with the Hades uh, about seven and a half pounds, well more than enough. Now come the cold weather, which it is now, I lose sufficient power for me to hesitate going beyond 15 yards. That's no good to me because the rats don't have a tape measure. So what I've done is I've changed the hammer spring. A lot of people stretch the hammer spring to get a bit more power, get a bit more gas release into the chamber. But if you do that, the spring just retempers anyway. But I have another spring which I use once the weather gets down into the 30s Fahrenheit and then I use my winter spring which is 8 or 10 millimeters longer than standard and also it's got a heavier more resistant temper now the thing with that is it does make the trigger a little bit harder and it makes the cocking action a bit harder on the bolt but it raises my power by one and a half to one and three quarter foot pound of energy which just puts me where I need to be for winter ratting now in this video I've been wearing camo so you haven't been able to see me, obviously. Okay, so you can't see me, but there are two things that still stand out. One, of course, is my devilish good looks. The other is the rifle really stands out. Well, I can't do anything about my devilish good looks, but I can sort the rifle out. So in the next video, we're going to camouflage the rifle. Subscribe plus bell and you won't miss it.